Last week we talked about um, the things that you can do to help your dog be a more willing participant in their veterinary behaviours and help them to be less stressed and less scared of those kinds of things when they do need to take place. What we're going to talk about today is in a bit of an extension about that. Um, for a lot of dogs, that fear and that nervousness and that stress of going to the vet starts even before they're inside, okay? They might be excited about going in the car and then suddenly as you start to get closer and closer, they might start, you know, we, we start to think that they're thinking, oh dear, I'm heading in the wrong direction and this looks like the vet and they start might start to get a bit quiet. Then when you wanna go up to the door, maybe they don't wanna go in the door. Maybe they back away from the vet, all these kinds of things. So these are indicators that our dogs are stressed about this process that they're going through. Um, and so what we want to do is start to work with them so that we can remove that bit of stress that's just in the warm-up to going to the vet. This is actually a relatively easy thing to do. Um, and um, it just requires that you go to the vet a few times when they're not actually needing to be you know, in the surgery or getting an injection or anything else and starting to pair it with something good. So the aim of this process is that you start to change how your dog feels about this particular environment, this particular building, this door, this you know, room that they sit in and then maybe even the um, treatment rooms as you go through as well. Um, if you can start to change how they feel about that, then you'll start to reduce the stress that they feel in those really early stages of the veterinary procedures. And then with the husbandry challenge that we were talking about, you can start to work on specific behaviors once they get there. So if I didn't really like spiders and you started to gradually introduce me to the concept of spiders and this kind of thing, um, but then every time you showed me maybe a picture of a spider, you gave me chocolate, <laughs> after a while, I'd start to see pictures of spiders and my brain would start to go, hmm, chocolate, that's actually not such a bad thing. <laughs> Okay, this is the kind of process that we're working on. We want to change how they feel about this and we're going to do that by associating lots of fun and positive things and food and toys and pets, whatever it is your dog likes, with this scenario that can be kind of scary and then hopefully that will change how they feel about that scenario. So let's go and look at the vet. Hi folks, so we are now up here at the vet and we're going to head out and start work walking up to the vet which is just over the other way here. And then we're going to do a little bit of work on um, trying to change how he feels about this situation in this environment. We'll see you soon. What we're going to do now is actually start to work on how he feels about going up to the vet and how he feels about being around here in general. And so what I'm going to do is basically pair that with something good. Now, good for Tyler is food of pretty much any description, um, but for your dog it might be toys, it might be pets and cuddles, we'll be doing some of that as well. Um, so we're going to give that a go now and I'm just going to show you, all you're doing is really just being in this environment. Um, because he's not terrified of this environment, we can start here and we can start giving food and other things and start to change hopefully how he feels because we'll be pairing this with stuff that's really good and hopefully that'll eventually change how he feels about being up there um, because he's afraid of the vet. He's already been trained to use a muzzle so we'll show you a little bit of that as well and we're going to do a little bit of training up here, a little bit of hanging out just to start to hopefully um, make him feel that being up here is kind of cool and you just get fed. Okay, let's go. Come on, Bubba. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. This way. Good boy. 
So that's it. You can see that it's really not a big deal. You can see that Ty Tyler was a bit happier there at the end when he was getting pats and cuddles and lots of treats um, than before when he was just walking on up to the vet. So this is an easy thing to do. Talk to your vet. Find out when might be quiet uh, for you to go up and do this with your dog. Do some work outside, do some work inside and basically just have some fun with your dog in this environment and hopefully they'll start to think it's a lot more fun to go to the vet.